super excited. These are Aki monitors in here. This is a cage that we've been using for a while now, but they're starting to get a little bit big and you can see it's not very deep as far as it's shallow. So I needed to add some room because they're getting big. So guess what? We've got a new enclosure here that is twice as deep that is gonna go here. It's got similar rocks in the background, which is cool. As a matter of fact, it's the exact same rocks. So it's not gonna feel very foreign to them. Gonna be really cool. Gonna have an opportunity to not only get them set up in there, but if you notice, this is a front entry where they'll be sliding glass here. And the whole idea for that is that way we can get to them from the front. Right now we have to get to them from the back. So we'll be able to access some more, be easier for us not only, but then we can start taking them out and starting to kind of tame them. The other thing I'm super excited about is actually we have these came in too. Take a look at this. This is absolutely awesome. This is actually gonna be Salt and Pepper's new enclosures too. Again, front loading so we can get to them now. They got some ridges that they can climb up for basking and stuff like that. Big, nice enclosure so we can keep them out all the time. We have one for salt and we have one for pepper because again, you can see right here, we have these tanks, but they're not front access. So it's a pain in the butt to keep them out of here all the time. So we're gonna go ahead and switch these guys out in the next day or so. And then we're gonna be able to get salt here, pepper here full time. So it's absolutely gonna be amazing. I love when we get new stuff. We also have a new enclosure for the walnut python. So it's front access. The whole idea was we wanted to get as much front access as possible so we can take even more animals out. So super excited about this. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and set up the Aki cage, get those guys in there. Oh, and by the way, welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of today is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. I mean, look at these guys. They have so much more room and they're getting so big. So it's super cool. I don't know. It's probably one of the coolest things that I do to be totally honest with you is when we actually can upgrade things to bigger enclosures. It just makes me so happy. Now they got so much more room to run around and stuff like that. It's so cool. I mean, they're one of the coolest little dudes. Now we can again go in there and actually interact with them just like this. So it's easy to catch them now. You can see they're relatively good, but they definitely need a little bit more work for sure. But now that we can access them easily from the front, that's gonna be a huge difference in the way that these guys actually calm down and habituate, and we can start taking them out and kids can actually handle them and stuff like that. And the same principle goes for salt and pepper. Like I said, it'll probably be a couple days before we actually get to the actual transfer there. But again, we can go in from the front, which will make the whole experience just that much better for us and for the animals. These are so absolutely adorable. These are actually fraternal twins. That's right, these ball pythons hatch out of the same eggs. Now what's really crazy is that you guys know that I caught the vast majority of the clutches this year on the vlog. This was a clutch that I actually didn't cut or I would have been able to cut twins. But the fact was there was nine babies and there was only eight eggs. A lot of times when you do get twins when it comes to snakes, you'll have basically paternal twins. You know, they'll look exactly the same and stuff like that. But in this case, believe it or not, they're two different mutations. This one over here is actually a fireball python and the other one is a fire pinball python. But you can certainly see they're about half the size of a normal ball python. Typically a ball python will hatch out at about 55 to 75 grams. These guys are under 30 grams. So they shared an egg and it's just crazy to think that all year that I've been cutting, I've been thinking like, oh, I caught a clutch that has twins in it and then one clutch that I don't cut actually has twins. What are the chances of that happening? Literally, oh, you're a feisty little monkey too. I don't think that there was more than five clutches I didn't cut this year and I didn't see any twins, but guess what? We did get some twins. I absolutely love them. And look at that cute little monkey. It is so adorable. I also think that the fact that these guys are fraternal twins and are two different morphs, I wonder if they're the same sex or not. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and sex them and see if we've got two males, two females, or a male or a female. Regardless, they are absolutely adorable. And typically, although you have to feed these guys slightly smaller meals and stuff like that, they'll typically do just as good. And what I've noticed in the past is when you have a small ball python or twin ball pythons, typically within the first year, they'll actually catch up to other animals that were hatched twice their size. So they are absolutely adorable. And as it turns out, we did hatch at least one set of twins this year. And the 
again, I'm just killed with cuteness on these things. And they're just so small. They're so absolutely adorable. I think I'll go ahead and sex the fire one first. And as you can see, there's actually two little hemipenes on this one. So that is a boy. Next up, we'll go ahead and do the fire pinstripe and see if we've got two boys or two girls. And as it works out, yep, another boy right there. So it turns out that these guys are brothers, which is kind of weird, but I don't think that that had anything to do with it because they could have both been females or they could have been a male and female. doesn't really matter. But nevertheless, super cute little animals. I'm so happy we hatched these guys. They'll probably keep a hold of these guys for an extra couple months just to get some size on them before they'll probably be offered up for sale on the website. But nevertheless, uh, pretty awesome that we hatched some twin ball pythons. I bought you a present. Let yeah, me guess a, what it is. It's kind of like a present for you too, Eric. Oh, yay. Yeah, what what is, is it? Is it this big wheel right here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to awesome. host Bingo at the OPC. No, Dude, not this is Bingo. Be this is going to be as like... Eric gets bit by Argamas. Eric yeah. gets bit by a Exactly. Python. This is gonna take our <clears throat> Wait, let me go say that right over now. This is gonna take our challenges to the next level, Eric. It really will. Okay. I'm excited. This one's gotta be a ten dollar gift card to McDonald's. Dude, because <laughs> it's yellow. It could be. I mean the, I don't know what these things exactly. are, but you can literally write anything you guys exactly. want. Eric wins a bird. Yeah! Like, you know what I mean? Just stuff or, like yeah. that. Or Eric has to go in the pond with RJ. Yeah. yeah. There we go. I like it. It's Rubbed you know, you gotta weigh it out. So you I gotta weigh out the pros and the I, I seriously, I, I've been thinking about this for a while, so I bought yeah. it for you as a surprise. I think it's pretty dope. Yes. You know, like, I have a little laser pointer, you just be like, oh, there you go, Eric. And then so there you go. Just spin the wheel. There. And you can change it, like spin the wheel of death. Ah! It shocked me too! I don't like that. I don't like that. Dude, did it shock us A little all? bit. Not me as much. Dude, I was holding it. Why was so I holding no, it? No, it, 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 it backfired on you. Dang so it. this is, no one got me the other day. This is one of those laser pointers that also shocks you if you post Push post button. Sheesh, man. That was so I don't good. like you, it. You deserve it because you got me good the other I day. I know. You I got Eric good too, though. I got Eric good too. All right. So, All right. All right. Well, enjoy this. We'll see this on your yes. channel. Yeah, we'll be spinning this wheel. Wait, what should we say? We'll be spinning this wheel till we find the right deal. Wow! The <laughs> host of a 2020 game show right here. No Bingo. bar check. All wow. right, so you can, we might that even use quick. it on our channel. If you guys have some ideas for Noah oh, or yeah. for me in the comments, let oh, me know what you want us to do with our new spinny wheel. Let's see that real. Back with Jessica, which only means one thing. Uh, we've got some eggs. Yeah. Yay. Our what do we got? legs this time, oh, so this which, is mom. Oh my gosh, which one is this one? This is Wednesday. Oh, that's Wednesday. She's yeah. always a good producer. It's cool. Again, we have a lot of new gargoyles that are up, and we had kind of a late start to the year egg-wise. Yeah, yeah it's um, wild. I've seen a lot of them digging around though, so okay. we should have a pretty good. And honestly, I've heard that babies that hatch in the winter do better. Oh, they do better. Like they're okay. bigger and like oh, okay. their head structure. Well, cool. Better. Well, let's see what we got here. She obviously excavated mm -hmm. all of that bedding to one side, which definitely tells you she's got some eggs in there. Somewhere but down here. Where that? Oh, there, oh they there they are. Cool. Is that the only eggs for the day? No, I got another set. Oh. This one, though, I've just recently paired, so I don't know if these ones are going to be good. Okay. And that happens sometimes with geckos. Sometimes the first clutch will actually be infertile. It just, uh, for whatever reason, happens, and then the fertility increases. So we'll see if these guys look good. Is this a girl here? Yeah. Oh, she she doesn't so... have a name. Oh, uh, she doesn't. She's cool, though. She's yeah, really chocolatey looking. She looks like looking. Halloween, almost. Like yeah, it's really more. cool. It's a, not a big girl, either. No, she's still okay. kind of small. What do we have here? Oh, okay. okay. What do you think? They look a little uh, yellowish. That one's got a little pink in it oh, still, yeah, though. This one looks bit. like it's probably a dud, but this yeah, one might be it okay. It does look like, okay. So it looks like we got one for a leg from that one. Again, gargoyle season is uh, late this year, but better be late than never. And again, we got those tiki geckos with our Dracula and Deadpool line that are, are going to be really cool. So that's I'm cool. Super excited It's awesome. Those, that's yeah. awesome. Well, good job. Keep it up. Thanks. I love the fact that you guys like the positivity that I try to give out. And I try that the best I can. I try to be as positive as I can as a person. But to be honest with you, you know, things aren't always like easy and peaceful keen around here and what I mean by that is that we have plenty of kind of obstacles that come in our way really almost every single day it's about you know how do you overcome those obstacles it's really easy to kind of get down or really think like all right I have a plan things are going in this direction it's gonna be amazing and then listen that's just life I mean things come in the way monkey wrenches happen and it's all about like trying to stay positive and keep your eye on the prize and being able to you know adjust your plan I mean if things don't go the way you want don't just give up everything maybe just adjust it to way it actually is 
is. And I'm not gonna lie, today was kind of one of those days. I've had a lot of things I've been working on, kind of moving towards the future, and uh, a monkey wrench kind of got thrown in my plan today. I'm not gonna lie to you. And it did kind of rock me. I mean, that happens. I don't want you guys to think that I'm only sharing the best things. I always say I take you on the good, the bad, the ugly. You know, listen, there's ups and downs, whether it's life, personal life, business life, whatever it is, you know, life just is never perfect, right? The point is, is that even with today having some kind of interesting news that kind of changed some things for the future, doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop, it just means I have to adapt, you know? And I know some of you guys might be in that same situation. Maybe you're looking for that promotion or job or a new job, or maybe you're looking to move or you're looking to do something amazing and there just seems to always be roadblocks, you know? And that kind of is what it is. It's about attitude, right? You know, get the attitude of like, I'm gonna overcome and I'm gonna make these things happen. Even if they aren't exactly the way you want them to, you can still kind of achieve the things that you wanna do, even if you have to change your plans a little bit. I'm just basically saying, cause I wanna share with you guys, today has been a little bit of an up and down day for me, but I'm gonna still continue to move forward and I encourage you guys to do the same. Uh, I don't know, maybe someone out there needed to hear this. Uh, sorry for babbling on, uh, hopefully you guys didn't mind too much. Now that we have that out of our system, a bunch of people were asking me about the Super Lori Leopard Ball Python and just saying, hey, can we get an update? It definitely has changed a little bit, not quite as blue as it was in the past, but still a really beautiful animal, there's no doubt about that. Look at here, guys, that beautiful clown clutch is just starting to shed. This one just has its head cap off right now. Of course, this is a lesser leopard clown ball python, absolutely a ripper. So hopefully tomorrow I can give you guys the update with all of these guys shed out, because oh my gosh, they are absolutely gorgeous. And once these things shed, whoo -hoo, doggy, that's gonna be some pretty amazing snakes. Eric and Noah actually had two tours today, so I'm gonna go up, check on them, make sure they're doing everything all right. So many different Okay, I'm people. checking up on you guys. Hey! hey. How are you guys doing? You guys doing all right? Good. Oh yeah, all right, great! Right. Are they all right or should yeah. I fire them? You great. can't fire us. I, I just can't. as advertised, no. it's yes. not better. <laughs> <laughs> they have to get off the ground. I'll show you guys a picture up front. Oh, you have to see it. Oh, you have yeah. to see it. It's oh, really look cool. Look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out. Oh my God, this is so dope, yeah. man. Look at that. That is killer. You drew that? Last night for you guys. Get out of here. Last night. I've been, been, been an artist or I mean, what? I'm a tattoo artist oh, from tattoo Kansas. Artist. Oh my gosh, we've that's been, awesome, dude. Oh, what is we've, that? Been, we've been dying oh, to see you guys, man, right? celebrities. Oh, we just man. run your videos dude, nonstop so at my tattoo oh, shop. Oh my gosh, you were so, the most awesome. I've seen Eric at the really? quick shop, so I'm shadow boxing yeah, with him. Awesome. I forgot he doesn't know me as well as I know him, you know? Like, <laughs> hey, Eric. <laughs> oh yeah, my name's Jacob, by the way. That's awesome. Well, welcome, guys. You have yeah. a good time. I love this. This is definitely going up on the wall. That is awesome. Thank I, you, guys. And I awesome. have more to draw for you, but I just, you know, Time is just, yeah, I, I just you. can't, doesn't matter how much money you got, you can't buy more of it, man. No, you so. can't buy. Time is a valuable thing for sure. So, all right, cool. You guys have fun. I'll hang yeah. out with you guys for a little bit, but have a good time, all right? All right, all right cool. You just thought, uh, what are you doing? I'm putting the new stickers out. I think we need a bigger place. I think we're getting full up of uh, uh, stuff here. I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> We've got good. stickers, patches, more stickers, <laughs> stickers. We've got Bellas, we got salts, pumps, everything else. We definitely need like a gift shop area. Yes. That's the game plan for sure, is to get some kind of gift shop area. We'll see. <laughs> I know, there's so many things when people come in, we wish you could put in here, but uh, you know, it is what it is. So do you think this was cool or what? Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that's really neat. So one of the tours made that? Yeah, one of uh, Eric and Noah's tour. Yep, they uh, they brought that in. He's a tattoo artist. Okay, so that makes cool. sense. Yeah, because that looks like a that would It be a does tattoo, look like right? a cool tattoo, awesome. yeah. Oh, that's I awesome. I know, right? As you guys can see, we're uh, we're really getting ready for Halloween. We're excited about it. We got a couple events here at the Reptarium including Halloween night. If you hey, I didn't know, if you show up as a kid, or well, even an adult, in a costume, free to get in for a couple, I think five to seven on Halloween. Uh, we're gonna give away like goodie bags of candy and all kinds of other stuff. So uh, feel free to come pay us a visit. But regardless, I'm hoping to do a special Halloween episode, either the day before or the day of, about Bowser, to be honest with you. Uh, have you ever heard that if you stick your hand in a snapping turtle, in particular an alligator snapping turtle's mouth, that it can literally chomp your fingers off? I'm not sure if that's true. I have no idea. Uh, I don't want to spill the beans, but I'm going to see if I can put that to the test and see if you really do lose a finger if an alligator snapping turtle 
actually bite you. Uh, that's hopefully gonna be for the episode on Halloween or the day before. I don't know, uh, more on that soon. Another one a bunch of people asked about was this new gene animal. This is that Cine new gene that just is crazy. Just makes all that orange and that crazy blushing. Still haven't come up with a name for these guys, but I promise uh, at some point we will rename these things. But wow, I tell you what, they are looking better and better with age. Cannot wait to get these guys up to size and find out if there's a super gene. We know it's co-dominant because about half the babies came out looking like this, but we don't know if there's a super version yet. So here in another couple years, we'll find out. And that's the thing, guys. Breeding snakes or whatever takes patience. Sometimes projects can take five, six, seven, eight years plus. So uh, I have patience and I know one day I'm going to be looking at potentially an amazing super animal. I cannot wait till that day happens. There's so many amazing ball pythons down here. This is definitely one of my favorites from this year. This is actually a banana cine enchi pinstripe. I don't know, the color in this thing is just absolutely ridiculous. I'll try to do like a ball python update video in the next week or two, just show you all the cool hatchlings and how they kind of are progressing now that they're a little bit older because they are looking absolutely incredible. And I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, go over here and click on this video. I think that you'll like it. Here's a playlist. If you want to just roll through a bunch of my content, I do appreciate it. If you want over here, you can actually subscribe while you're at it, can you turn on those post notifications? Remember to have a wonderful day, everybody. Also, remember to be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.